Hi guys, welcome to Turtle Burger Crochet. My name is Brittany. Thank you for joining me. Um, I am really behind on the hashtag movie and stitch. I've been watching and I've been stitching. I just haven't had time to record. Um, but I do have some progress um, on my items. First, let me tell you, I watched C, D, and E movies. Um, so the first movie I watched was um, Cupid's Proxy. It was on uh, Pure Flix. Everything I mentioned will be linked down below. Um, it was a cute movie. Um, it was just kind of a good, um, like, waste of time movie, I guess, <laughs> you want to say. Um, it was about a little boy. He's probably 12 or so. His mom is a widow, and um, I'm not really sure how. She and her husband were super in love, but she acts like she's completely against love now um and he the little boy i can't remember his name it's been over a month since i watched it um or about that anyway um he takes guitar lessons from a guy who is a hopeless romantic um even though he's been super burned in the past apparently and he has a crush on the little boy's mom um meanwhile one of their neighbors and close friends is jackie harry um the actress she writes a cupid column in their paper where people write in to her with love questions well as it turns out she's getting more and more of the millennial type questions and she can't relate to them at all so her ratings are dropping and the little boy, um, I keep saying little boy, he's probably like 12, he's preteen. He um, ends up giving her advice and telling her she's too harsh and giving her ways that she can connect with the younger generation. And she ends up writing the column basically verbatim and um, and everyone loves it. They're like, who is this? And she signs it as Cupid's Proxy. She didn't want to out and out lie and say it was her. Um, so she signed it Cupid's Proxy. The little boy finds out because he reads her column and is like, this is exactly what I told her. Anyway, so just a cute thing where he ends up writing th um, some columns for her and she pays him. Um, then he gets the idea to connect his mom and guitar teacher through this, through a series of events. The mom finds out and is really upset. Um, and of course it all works out in the end. Super cute. Um, the D movie I watched, I watched it on Up Faith and Family, but it has since been added to Pure Flix. It was called Destiny Road. Um, I was not sure where this movie was going to begin with, um, but I ended up really, really liking it. Um, it is three stories that um, end up combining, and you don't really know until the end that they're even connected, really, but it was super cute. The first storyline is... Um, she's probably 18 or so um she meets a boy at church who goes to wake forest he's a little bit older um and they end up getting married i can't remember any of these people's names but the husband um he and en ends up moving away from his moving her away from her mother because she feels she's too overbearing um, so he finds another one about a hundred miles away or so, and I think, and their life just turns for a spin. He ends up having an affair and leaving his wife and just ends up in a, a spiral of partying with this new lady that he works with and, and just kind of ends up disappearing. He's done with it all. I don't think he thinks he can go back to his wife. She has since moved back home with her mom. Um, they never got divorced or anything. She can't find him. His parents and family don't know where he is. Um, 
and so he he ends up they all end up at the same place and at the end of the movie so that was the first storyline the second storyline is um a young man now i do remember his name was jeremiah and he is the youngest of two children his dad is an alcoholic he because of his alcoholism he's some kind of builder um so jeremiah's dad is like in construction or something like that his mom um is a house cleaner and she um while she, I don't think she believes God is really for them. Um, she does try to give Jeremiah that foundation. Um, so they go to church, but like they're taking food from the potluck and things because they just, they don't have the money for it. And because of their location, he's actually in kind of a, a more upscale school and gets made fun of, but he's a good student. Um, and as it turns out, there's another little boy or not a boy they're easily 14 or 15 by this time there's another kid on his street who is like in with the rich kids the preppies and he teaches him how to get in with the rich kids I guess but under the guise of stealing from them so he becomes basically a pickpocket he's stealing anything he can whenever he can um in order to get money and really kind of takes it to the extreme <laughs> so that sets jeremiah's downward spiral spiral for several years that they show um the third storyline is a pastor who takes over this congregation and he becomes obsessed with trying to grow the church, make money for the church. And at the same time, he and his wife are making crazy money um, for a pastor with all these investments and things like that. And he ends up getting fired from the church and working for this lady um, who owns an antique shop. And she's having him do like basically cooking the books type things and and how um that affects him and his life so those are the three storylines i'm not going to tell you how they all connect it is a really really good movie i did not like it at first because i i couldn't figure it out but it ended up being really really good um the third movie i watched um for letter e was called eternal salvation also on pure flicks and this story was about this up and coming um, executive. He's, I think he's probably in some kind of finance world or something. Anyway, he ends up having a brain aneurysm. Um, and through those experiences and people he knows he and works with, he ends up coming to the Lord and finds that that's not always so easy, but thankfully he does have, he makes a friend at work, um, who kind of becomes a spiritual leader or mentor for him and gets him involved in a, in a, um, Bible study. Um, so it was a really good movie. I highly recommend that one as well. Now the project I worked on for all the movies so far was my Amour dishcloth from the kitchen sink shop. I finally finished it. Here it is. I, um, I think I discussed in my last video that I was thinking about cutting it off at the two hearts. I was going to, but I thought that maybe it would, um, make it more rectangle and it did. I'm so glad I did all six hearts because it is super cute and really fancy for, <laughs> for a dishcloth, but it really challenged me. Um, and so far, the reason I wanted to do the year of dishcloths was to enhance my knitting skills um, since I was so new at it. And this one really, really taught me some patience with knitting. Um, first off, I had to redo it and start it several times. I believe I was um, 
maybe somewhere. It actually, it knits upside down like this. And I, I was somewhere in here, I think right about, oh, you can tell where my little <laughs> stitch marker was. I was about right here in my last video. So I got it finished. And then also what I've been working on was um, Adventures with Yarn. I will link her channel down below. She hosted Sock Sanity 2021. Um, and I immediately was so excited because I wanted to knit my first pair of socks. So I've been working on that. It was every bit as challenging as I thought it was going to be. I still haven't finished because like the dishcloth, I've had to restart this umpteen times. Um, so this is the front. This is, um, the pattern is Rye Light from 10 Can Knits. I'll link it down below. And this is the front. This is a series of pearl stitches. This is the cuff. And I am working on, I think this is like the heel part. I don't think it's the gusset. I don't know what this part is, but this is going to turn into the heel turn. I guess maybe it's a gusset. I don't know. Anyway, so this is what I've been working on in the meantime. Um, super excited to get these finished. The reason I wanted to um, to learn to knit socks was I really wanted to make my husband a pair of knit socks for his birthday. So if I can get these finished and basically by teaching myself how to do it, then I can knit his socks. Um, I'm almost done with this section. Um, it's just knit and pearls turning. It's really a pretty easy pattern. It's just I'm not skilled enough in it. Um, but I'm getting there and in order to make it more successful, cause I was having a really hard time on the double point of needles, though I have figured that out with a different project I'll talk about in a podcast. Um, I did get me some Chiagu, um, nine inch circulars, um, in sizes 2.25 and another one, this one is a 2.75 cause you have to change needles from the cuff. But I am really liking this. It's super soft. I'm, I wasn't crazy. I don't know if you can see the sparkles. I was not crazy about that. But um, I didn't want to get an expensive yarn. So I just got this. This is what Walmart had in sock yarn. I'd never worked with sock yarn before. Um, it's very finicky. It's very small. And when you're used to only working with... Um, I'm not even very good with DK or sport weight. So... I've only used size four, five, and six um, yarn. So basically worsted up to super bulky. And that was what I was most comfortable with. But anyway, really liking this. This yarn is um, Lion Brand Summer Nights in the color, I believe, I have it right here, Tropical Punch. This is what the front of it looks like. Um, and the color is Tropical Punch. I am hoping to get these finished because I want to start um, my husband's socks. And I have the yarn for that. Let me show you. I got this from, from webs.com. And here's, this will be his sock color. This is his favorite color, like a royal blue. Um, so I think they will be really, really pretty. Or he probably doesn't want pretty socks, but... <laughs> <laughs> but they'll be really, um, they'll look good on them. So anyway, I'm excited to get that going. Um, so this was all for CD&E. I have no idea what movie I'm watching for the letter F yet. Um, I haven't found anything uh, that really interests me yet. So anyway, that's it. I will have all the movies and um, everything that I can think of linked below. Hope you have a great day. Bye.